Hi everyone, my name is Will and today we'll be looking at how to create a basic form in an Android app. So to start off, we'll create a new project, we'll get an Android project, and we're going to call it Contact Manager because we'll be working towards creating a basic contact manager application. Now the first thing we want to do is create a basic form that will allow the user to add a new contact. So just some fields with contact information and such. So we're going to open our project and under this res folder you're going to find a folder called layout. And this is where your default screen layout is in this main.xml file. All layouts are always in XML files under this folder. So if we open it up you'll see here this is the default graphical view now we'll take there's a text view here by default and we'll go and delete that so we can start on our own and notice that you can also toggle between a graphical layout and the XML view so if you prefer working with one or the other uh, you can do as you please so now the first thing we're gonna do is go over here to our outline look at our linear layout that we have which is the layout on the whole screen and we're gonna edit the width of it because we don't want it to be the whole screen because there will be other elements on the screen so we want to make it a little smaller 300 dp should do just fine so now we're gonna go and add some text fields to this layout so if you go to the text fields category here on the left simply drag and drop so a first name a last name, phone number, email, website URL. And now we'll give each of these over here a descriptive ID. Now, if you take a look at this and you right click on it, there's an option here properties. And these are all the properties of this text field. One in particular we want to look at is called hint. So we're going to give it a value of first name. Now, take a look what happens here. It's basically a hint to the user that this is what belongs in the field. So they'll take a look at this and say, okay, first name field, right? so we'll go and do that add that property for all of our separate fields last name etc And there you go, you've got a basic form. Now one thing we need for any form is a save button. So we'll go back up here, and we'll go to the under form widgets, a drag and drop a simple button, and we'll edit the width so that it's the same as its parent linear layout. And now we don't want it to say button, we want it to say save. So if we edit the text, we'll have to create a new string here. The actual string will say save, the name of the string will be save lowercase. Click OK. OK again. And there you have it. There's a button with save and several fields for contact information. And now we'll go and save this project. And there you go. You've made a basic form in an Android application.